Hi everyone, Lemming here. I just wanted to try and explain some of the hardware that makes up Boxer Banks. Uh, at the top there you're seeing the back of the crowbar discharge resistors, then at the bottom you're seeing the front control panel. On the control panel there you can see the big black knob, that's what we use to set the input voltage to the transformer, which then multiplies it for the capacitors. On the right the compressed air hose, and on the left the fire control and power inputs. Uh, top center there, you can see the big silver cans. Those are the actual capacitors that store the energy for the system. There's 16 of them all in parallel and they weigh quite a bit. And on the end here at the top, you can see what we call the primary discharge. It's actually in parallel with the outputs. And it's there just as a safety in case whatever we're trying to destroy doesn't actually blow up. These are the primary outputs for the system. They're uh, two brass uh, bars about an inch in diameter. They're supposed to handle up to about 4,000 amps. We're not sure we're actually hitting that yet. It's going to be fun to work that out. And this is the actual fire control. So if I'm feeling kind, I'll hand this off to someone else, or if not, I will, you know, just uh, run it myself. Uh, but as you can see, it's fairly simple, but well designed. Arming! Charging! Two thousand four hundred! Holding at two thousand four hundred! Firing in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> okay, now what you're looking at is the same bit of footage but recorded at 400 frames a second. As you can see, it's a bit dark, but uh, you can see there the chip getting blown to pieces and flying out of frame. Charging! 2,000, 2,300, Climbing, climbing. We're holding at 2,440. Firing in three, two, one. So again, this is the uh, high-speed footage of the previous shot. You see that the ram between the terminals, and then it's going to go away. You can see there's the main PCB leaving there, and just if you look at the top right, you'll see the sticker flying through the top right corner there. This is a bit of a bonus shot. This is an old Nokia phone. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't import the normal speed footage for this, so you only get the high speed. But there it goes. Uh, it very quickly was into three pieces, and they flew about four or five meters. So I hope you enjoyed this little introduction to Boxer Bangs and the fun we can have with it. Uh, there will be more coming up. I'm hoping to have some better footage next time. I'm actually working on getting a higher speed camera if I can. Um, here's some of the destruction from the day. Uh, we've got a lot more to come, and you should see more soon. Um, keep your eyes peeled on our Facebook page. There will be an event surrounding this at some stage. I'm not going to say when yet because we're still testing.